I had one of the most exhilarating conversations with a community attender recently. Now this was a guy, he's done pretty well in business, but it's been the last few years he found his way back to God. He shows up every week and he says, every week I find myself getting emotional. And I'm not only not an emotional guy, he loves the community. He's in a small group doing life together. He's finding out he loves being generous. He's giving away more and more of what God's given him. And he's super passionate about the mission. In fact, so passionate, he strategized about how he can spend more and more time on the mission and less and less time at work. Now, throughout our conversation, he kept using this phrase over and over again. He kept saying, I'm all in. Dave, I'm, I'm all in. He talked about his relationship with Jesus. And he said, I'm all in. We talked about the mission. I want to spend more and more time on it. He just said, I just, I just want to be all in. We talked about generosity and some of the initiatives we have coming up. He said, I'm all in. Finally, I got to the point where I had to stop him. And I said, did you know our theme for this next ministry year is all in? And he was like, I had no idea. But that's just how I feel. I'm all in. Well, if there was one phrase that I would like to describe this next ministry year, it's this phrase, all in. And here's why. I think God's looking for people who are all in, all in. Look what 2 Chronicles 69 says. It says, the eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. Now this scripture tells us something amazing about God, that He's always looking for people to strengthen. Another translation says, mightily support. And the people He chooses to strengthen are the ones who are completely committed to Him. He's looking for people like that. He's looking for people who are all in. Now, as we look ahead this next ministry year, it is going to be a year of exceptional opportunity. We're going to reach record numbers of people. We'll bring restoration in unprecedented ways. We're going to reproduce the mission exponentially, both locally and globally. We'll help more people than ever find their way back to God. But it's going to take all of us, and it's going to take all of us being all in. First, we have to be all in with Jesus. I'll tell you what, if I was given one wish, just one wish for community, I would wish that every person would hear from God every day. If every person heard from God every day and then lived it out, we would be all in with Jesus. And for us to do anything significant with our lives, being all in with Jesus is foundational. Secondly, we need to be all in on mission. Last year, almost three-fourths of our small groups had a written mission statement and then were commissioned at a weekend celebration service. This year, we want to go from 75% to 100%. It's going to take you and your group working, praying, deciding what's our mission. And it'll be worth it because we want to see every group on mission. Lastly, we must be all in with our generosity. The Bible teaches your treasure is where your heart is. And for many, this is the biggest test in our spiritual journey. Will you pass it? We need to be all in with our generosity. I want you to know, I am all in. And here's what I'm asking everyone in the community. Will you join me and be all in? I'm so thankful for what God has already done through community in downtown Naperville. But I'm even more excited about this coming year. I know that the best is yet to come. And what God has in store for us will require us to be all in. We've been sent to the vibrant downtown of Naperville to help people find their way back to God right in the middle of the marketplace. God will use us this next year to make a greater impact reaching more people than ever. Because we're a multi-generational church, children, students, singles, couples, and whole families are finding their way back to God through Jesus Christ. And as we meet on the North Central College campus, God continues to give us new opportunities to reach this generation of college students. At this age, most are absent from church, but a community in downtown Naperville, college students are walking into faith, not away from faith. Having a great variety, ages, you know, all kinds of different people at community has been actually an incredible experience because it kind of feels like more of a family, having that diverse, it's not just college kids. The void I felt when I first came to college, when I felt, you know, I'm missing something, I feel like it's been filled. It's been filled with my time at community. It's been filled being able to serve. It's just made me feel so fulfilled in life. In addition, God is opening brand new doors to help people find their way back to God through leveraging the Arts and Wentz Concert Hall. But not only is God sending us to reach those around us, He's opening opportunities of restoration. 
Together, let's be a catalyst of restoration in our city, in the marketplace, through our small groups, and on the college campus. And one upcoming event, Celebration Generosity, will give us an opportunity to be part of restoring lives close to home and around the world. Also, to be all in, we need to reproduce leaders, groups, and contributors to be ready for what God has in store. Being all in also means being a people of generosity. Jesus was clear when he said, where your treasure is, your heart will be also. For us to be fully engaged, it'll take all of us being obedient to God with our resources. God is leading us to take huge steps of faith individually and as a church. So let's be all in relationally with Jesus Christ, knowing that the best is yet to come. Downtown Naperville is all in.